Hey everyone, so I'm really excited for today because I'm doing a 24-hour readathon. So this is gonna be my second 24-hour readathon of the month. <laughs> but this time I'm doing the readathon with Kevin from my theater, Caitlin from Kate Literature, and Jamie from Jamie Alicia, aka some of my best friends. So it's gonna be so good. Like I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this ever since we planned it earlier in the week. And we're all like super excited, obviously. It's just gonna be the best. Um, before I talk about my plans and stuff, I did get my nose pierced. Hello. <laughs> it is a little bit dark because you know it's a little bit bloody, but I love it. Anyway, so yes, let's talk about my reading plans. Actually, before I talk about my plans, it's currently 3.38 and I'm starting the readathon at 4 p.m. my time. And I'm actually going until 6 p.m. tomorrow because tomorrow morning I'm doing a YouTube live on my channel. So we're going to do a one hour reading sprint live. So obviously I'll read during that. And then straight after that, we're doing a two hour Twitch stream and we're going to play Fortnite. So obviously because that's nothing to do with reading, we decided to add two hours to the readathon so we can have like the full 24 hours, even though I am going to sleep and stuff. So, you yeah. know, anyway, but yeah, so that's what the plan is. It's just going to be the best time ever ever like yes we're also going to do lots of facetimes hopefully and just get heaps of reading done so my main focus for the readathon is a court of silver flames by Sarah J Maas, which i'm so excited about because i just want a fun fantasy romance time and i think i already mentioned that caitlin and kevin both absolutely love this book and they said it's their favorite Sarah J Maas book and you know I'm not like the biggest Sarah J Maas fan but I do love A Court of Mist and Fury and they both said this is better than A Court of Mist and Fury and I want an amazing romance I want the fun sexy times I want the fun fairy fantasy times I love these characters so I am so excited and it has been so long since I did read you know A Court of Mist and Fury and stuff so I'm just really really hyped and apparently there's also just amazing female friendships really good representation for mental health so i don't know they both said i'm gonna love it and i have a feeling i'm gonna love it so i'm just so excited and also caitlin said that it's a really fast read and she also said it's really good to read it quickly like in terms of enjoyment so you know i don't think i'll be able to finish this during the readathon because it's really chunky 700 pages but we'll see i'm obviously just going to try to read as much as i can and i am going to try to stay up late tonight also this cover unfortunately you can't get this cover anymore this is not the original cover this is actually a dust jacket that i ordered from an etsy shop so this is illustrated by stars that dream on instagram and yeah unfortunately they're not selling the dust jacket anymore but I absolutely love it because the original cover is not great in my opinion and this cover matches the vibe of the first three books so that's why I really wanted it and yeah it's just so pretty like look at that and if you don't know this book follows um Nesta and a lot of people hate Nesta I don't mind her she's definitely not my favorite but I don't really mind her so we'll see how I feel about her in this book but yeah I can't wait it's just gonna be so fun so yeah that's my main focus I'm not really in the audiobook mood to be honest, but I am currently listening to The Guest List by Lucy Foley, which is a thriller, so if I do listen to an audiobook, that's what I'll listen to. But like I said, I'm not really in the audiobook mood. I'm mainly in the physical reading mode, so I don't think I'll be getting much done of that. And then I also have some other books on my TBR. So I have Formidable Alchemist Volume 5. This won't take me that long to read, and if I want to just, you know, get at least one book done in the readathon, then I'll read this. And maybe I'll read this like halfway through the readathon just so I can switch things up a bit. And I have been wanting to continue this series for a while so this should be super nice and then I also have this graphic novel check please book two which I still haven't read yet it was released last year I think so maybe I'll also read this during the readathon I don't know this is a graphic novel and it's super cute we'll see we'll see we'll see I just wanted to have this as an option so yeah these are the reading plans and all of us are vlogging so I'll leave everyone else's vlogs in my description we should upload at the same time so yes super fun like I said, I just can't wait. So before I start the readathon, I thought I would do a quick unboxing of an Owl Crate box because this arrived a few days ago. So let's look at it. Okay, I was actually on FaceTime with my friend. So it is four now. So I'm going to start as soon as I finish unboxing this. Oh, by the way, I am an Owl Crate rep. I feel like I always forget to say it because... I've obviously unboxed so many Outcrate boxes over the years, but I am an Outcrate rep, so that means they send me their boxes every month for me to unbox my channel. And I have a code so you can get 10% off your first box, which is just Chloe. Okay, here is the box. So this is the spoiler card. The theme is of witches and wonder. So excited. Okay, first item. Oh my gosh, I think this is like a mug or something. Oh, it's like a tumbler, I think. Yes, this is a tumbler mug. Oh, 
Why does Remy look so funny? <laughs> so this says, cheers for spring, for life, for a growing soul. So this is the first of their new 2021 collectible series of seasonal drinkware. Each season will bring a new style of drinkware. So this is a quote from Sylvia Plath. And there's going to be four in the series, so that's really cool. And I don't think I have any tumble mugs, so I'm really happy about this. Love the colour too. I love this shade of green. Then we have something in this box. Perfume oil. Okay, so this is a roll-on perfume. It says Emmanuel, Blackberry, Sage and Cypress. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow, I love that. It gives me like a dark vibe. I'm so bad at smells, but it just gives me a really stunning, oh my God, literally stunning vibe. And it does smell like those things. Oh my God, wow, I love that. That's definitely gonna be one of my new go-tos. I love like dark, rich scents. And this is inspired by The Year of the Witching. That's a book that I need to read this year because it's on my top 21 books to read in 2021. So I think I'm gonna love that book and love this. Okay, now we have this, which says it's a tea bag rest. Okay, this is so pretty. It's a little star shape and it says there's a little witch in all of us. And this is practical magic inspired. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely stunning. We've got like a blank sketchbook. This cover is so pretty. It says the magician and it has this person reading by the window with, you know, floating books, tea, well, a mug, a book stack, candle, stunning. This is seriously so so pretty and it has thick pages so yeah perfect for a sketchbook we have this cute bookmark and it says owl crate and then it's like a reading challenge as well so there's different reading challenges so like reread favorite book oh bookmark holder keep your treasured bookmark safety in this handy fabric pouch so this says magic is desire made real and this design is so stunning and this would be perfect to put like your like metal bookmarks and stuff and this is a quote from a discovery of witches i love it okay so now we just have the pin and the book and the pin goes along with the book so first i'll show you the book the book is sweet and bitter magic by adrian tooley so this cover is absolutely stunning literally love the illustration like that wow yes yes the purple vibes and there's also purple sprayed edges wow yes literally stunning yep stunning signed by the author now i haven't heard of this book but like i said it's stunning <laughs> so this is a fantasy debut and it's about a witch curse to never leave and it follows a witch curse to never love who meets a girl hiding her own unique magic the two strike a dangerous bargain to save their queendom queendom love it and i'm sure these two are gonna fall in love so that sounds amazing and this is the stunning pin that goes along with the book it says magic has consequences love it and this is the regular cover so our crate have like you know really amped up the purple obviously the purple spread edges and i love it so anyway thank you of course to our crate for sending me this box i'll have their website linked below and now it's time for me to read because it's 4 13 and i'm gonna start with a quarter of silver flames <laughs>
so I'm on chapter two. Hello. So I am really excited because it's been so long since I've read the series and there's quite a few things that I forgot, but these characters are just so fun and it's just so easy to read books and I'm excited for the fun times. And it's supposed to be really smutty. I'm just so excited because I feel like I'll definitely ship the main couple. I already kind of do, so yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> but I have like a lingering headache. It's really sad. I actually don't feel like the best today. But obviously we planned it for today and then this morning I woke up with an absolute dropping headache and I was like frick because obviously I want to feel good for the readathon. I had like a nap. I, I tried to rest and have medicine and stuff. I thought it went away but it's still kind of there. So I think I'm going to take a break at the moment and cook dinner. Maybe have another tea or something and then get back into reading because my head is pounding. <laughs> and I'm also just really hungry so yeah I'm going to take a break. Oh yeah. So I feel so much better after my delicious pasta. So I'm gonna get back to reading. Kevin is up now, so he's officially joined us. So I'm just waiting for my phone to charge. I'm gonna read a little bit and then we're gonna get on FaceTime and do some reading together. So excited. Okay, I'm on page 52. Obviously, you know, I haven't read too, too much, but I'm already loving it and I really love the plot that's been set up. And it's just so like easy and quick to read. And I feel like I'm gonna read a lot during this readathon because like I'm already really invested. I'm excited to see what happens. And I really do love this world and these characters. And it's nice and nostalgic to be in it again. And I'm also buddy reading this with Caitlin, who's also doing the readathon and she's reading it as well as Jodie. So we're already having so much fun in our chat and buddy reading an amazing book. It's just so fun. This is just such a good day already. Well, obviously the headache was a bit of a setback, but I'm feeling good still. So yeah. This is the best book in the world. Fantastic buddies are reading their books slowly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Kevin shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, your turn. Come on, keep it going. Guys, I'm not going to improvise. Come on, I'll start. I'll start and it's going to be the top. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all I can think of my head is just a Hannah Montana transition. That's all I can think of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> page 107 and I am loving this book it is just so fun so far like I have smiled I've laughed I'm just having the best time and because Kevin and Caitlin have read it like it's just so fun being able to talk to them about it too and like they obviously know which scenes I'm talking about and stuff and well like it's just so fun <laughs> and you know I do love Feyre but I actually think I prefer being in Nesta's perspective because she's definitely more interesting and has more to her you know like Feyre can definitely be a bit bland at times yeah and I feel like a lot of people hate Nesta 
but I think that's because you see Nesta from Faerie's perspective and now that we are getting Nesta's perspective it makes sense why she's angry at certain things and you know. So I'm just really really loving it and I absolutely ship the main couple. I can't wait for more scenes of them together. Literally love them like their banter is everything and I've already tabbed quite a few scenes with them together and yeah I just love these characters. It's just so fun and I love how this is adult now because the first three were like I guess technically young adult but definitely more new adult vibes but this is now actually adult. I'm just loving it. I forgot how much I missed these characters honestly because it's been so long. I think I will make a lot of progress like I don't know if I'll be able to actually finish it like I'm gonna try but I definitely think I'll get maybe like at least to the halfway point. Hopefully more, obviously, but you know, I'm definitely like super invested. I can't even think about the other books on my TBR right now. Like I just want to read this. So what time is it? It is 8.44. So I'm going to try to stay up late tonight and just read as much as I can. currently on page 181 and I wanted to update here because I'm going to vlog me reading this next bit because Caitlin was like really excited for me to get to this part so apparently there's gonna be a really good scene now and I'm excited but I also just obviously wanted to update you on my general thoughts in the book so far. I am loving this book. There's something about it there's just this magical quality obviously it's fantasy but like I'm just having such good feelings reading it and it's just like I'm so invested and it's one of those rare times where I'm just like so transported in the world and I'm just in it and I just I'm loving it. The pacing is amazing like it got me hooked so quickly. Like the last book in the trilogy, Aquawar, I thought the pacing was not that good. It was like super slow and I, that just that book wasn't my favorite but this book Wow. And I'm just loving the characters. Like, I love Nesta. And Nesta's clearly dealing with a lot of mental health struggles, and I feel like it's a really good representation of that. I just am loving it. And I'm loving, like, the build-up to the romance, and I'm assuming the scene I'm about to read is going to be finally a scene with them together, and I'm so excited because <laughs> I love them. I literally love them. It is 10.51. Usually I'd be tired at this time, but I just don't feel tired because I'm so excited about this book right now, and I just can't wait to keep reading. I'm going to try to stay up as late as I can. Thank Thankfully I have Kevin and Caitlin with me as well. Jamie had a quick power nap, but hopefully she'll be joining us again too. But yeah, I'm having so much fun and it feels like we're having a sleepover right now. Oh, it's just the best, like reading an amazing book with my friends. And also just like the plot is so good. And it's just such a good balance of the plot and the character moments and the romance. And wow, I'm just at like five star vibes at the moment. Like honestly, I can't explain how much I'm loving this book. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to vlog me reading this next scene. Stunning. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. It's finally starting. And it doesn't stop. Oh my god. So 
it's currently 12 30 a.m and i'm on page 222 of court of summer flames <laughs> the scene that i just read was stunning and i literally love them so much and i'm just having the best time reading this book and at the moment me and kevin are the ones staying strong it is later for jamie and caitlin so obviously it's understandable why they're sleeping yep so me and kevin are still on the call together he's keeping me motivated i'm gonna try to stay up until two i think i'm like really into the book so i think i should be able to do it but wow i actually can't get over how much fun i'm having reading this book i love these characters so i'm going to get in my pjs get into bed continue reading and like i said hopefully read until 2 a.m i am just so excited for all the amazing things that are yet to come it continues to have the five star fives Okay, so it is 2.07 and I just got up to part two late and Kevin said this is the perfect time for me to stop and like I said, I wanted to try to read until 2 a.m. So yes, yes, yes. I actually feel like I could stay up longer, but I know that if I don't sleep now, I'm just going to be a zombie tomorrow. So I'm going to sleep. I'm still just absolutely loving this book and I love the way that part one ended and there have just been so many good scenes and I just can't wait to continue reading tomorrow just having the best time so yes tomorrow morning I have the live which obviously I'm going to be doing some more reading during that reading sprints live and then Fortnite. so excited stunning stunning tomorrow's going to be a stunning day as well so good night good morning from me and Kevin good morning honeys how are you feeling I'm feeling literally so delusional. <laughs> I'm feeling so giddy and I feel like the littlest thing is just gonna make me have the severe giggles. It's not gonna be a time. Yeah, we're gonna have a really fun and chaotic live show and Twitch stream. <laughs> it's gonna be everything though. Like it's just, it's just happy vibes, you know? Yeah. Even if we're tired, happiness. <laughs> Yep. Here's my mug, my amazing mug that Jesse actually got me, Jesse from Botos and Books. I actually feel kind of good right now. Like, not too sleepy. Definitely when I first woke up, I was like, oh my god. But I feel okay, and after I have my tea, I'm gonna be all good. Olivia Rodrigo has just dropped a video, like, oh, she's deleted all of her posts, and she only has two posts that she posted. Okay, let's do it. finished the live and the Fortnite stream was so fun because we got two victory royales victory royales oh it was so satisfying just so fun and everyone in the twitch chat is just so friendly and amazing so yeah it was so good and also it was just nice to have that Fortnite break but back to reading i actually did also eat after that but now i'm going to be reading again oh i got up to page 33 of the book in our reading sprints live well some good scenes i was reading <laughs> while on the live on page 302 I was honestly gonna cry because there are some amazing friendships that are being built. I just love it. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this book because I have like how many hours? Six hours left, which is obviously still a lot, but I don't think I can finish the book in six hours because I still have 450 pages left. And I also don't want to like rush it because obviously I'm having so much fun reading this, but I'm just gonna keep reading. I don't think I'm gonna get to the other books on my TBR because I'm just so into this book at the moment. And I just want to read as much of it as I can. Oh, I forgot to show you my stunning hot chocolate. I was saying how I was craving chocolate, but I don't have any chocolate in the house. And then Caitlin's like, oh, maybe you should make a hot chocolate. And I was like, oh my God, you're right. So good. Okay, so I'm getting kind of sleepy and Kevin is getting sleepy too. It's like 3 a.m. for him. <laughs> so I'm trying to get him to do jumping jacks, but he won't do it. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's do it together. You can just do the sitting down one. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. <laughs> Amazing it is. And she had the audacity yeah. not to get us five stars the first time. There's someone love, like. <laughs> Maybe everyone needs to cry during this readathon. Oh, wait, you've already cried. Yeah, I cried at the Hannah Wars, and I was like, I can't see through my tears. Seventy-four now, and like I keep saying, I'm just having the best time. This is one of the best reading experiences I've ever had because not only is the book amazing, and it was like an unexpected fave. Like I'm already considering this a fave because I just love it. But also the fact that I'm reading it on FaceTime and Caitlin and Kevin have read it, like it's just the best because also they love it so much. So they just get so excited for me to reach certain scenes and we can talk about it, and it's just so so good. Like I'm having so much fun. Like. So so enjoyable, yes. So many good lines, so many good moments. One of my favorite lines so far. Perhaps in voicing those truths, they'd given them wings and sent them soaring into the open sky above. Out of all the books that I've read by Sarah J Maas, this is definitely the best in terms of writing, pacing, plot, characters, just everything, literally everything. Like, wow, wow. <laughs> I just love fantasy romance, yes. Yes. And it's so fun as well because Kevin is reading Taking Danny Brown, which is one of my favorite books, and he's loving it and he's having such good reactions. So, wow, it's just such a good time, honestly. Oh, and it's 2.20 right now. So I think I'll be able to get to page 600, hopefully. I am feeling a bit tired, but I'm like super into the book. So like, I'm ready to keep going. Kevin is staying strong. <laughs> he hasn't slept and it's like 4 a.m. for him or something. So we're going, we're going good. <laughs> Three, two, one. Cassia. <laughs> Stunning. Oh my god, shut up. I, you must have been happy. Shut up. Yeah, I need to annotate this scene. <laughs> it's like pink. Yeah, <laughs> literally. No, give me pink highlight and just do the whole thing. Pink paint. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so it is 5.02. So I technically have one hour of the readathon left, but I am just feeling so exhausted. My eyes are getting so heavy reading and I just don't want to ruin this experience. Like I want to read this when I'm like fully awake, you know, because I'm loving it so much. So I think I'm just going to stop now. And also Caitlin started watching the Vampire Diaries. So I want to join her and just relax from reading. So I got up to page 502. Absolutely loving this book. Like I've said, I have so many pink tabs and pink tabs are for moments that I love. And I have quite a few dog-eared scenes. I recently started dog-earing my absolute favorite scenes in books and I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are a lot of good scenes in this book. So good, just so fun. Absolutely love the characters, absolutely love the romance. I've nearly cried happy tears so many times and like the friendships. Wow, this book definitely on the road to being a five-star read and definitely on the road to being like a new favorite, which is just so unexpected. Like I was not expecting this because like I said multiple times, I thought I wasn't gonna read it, all this stuff, but wow. <laughs> I've been having the best time reading this and I've just been having the best 24-hour readathon and I'm actually doing another one next weekend. We're doing a romance 24-hour readathon, so I'm really excited for that. So also look forward to that vlog. Yeah, it was just so fun because we were on FaceTime like basically the whole time and that really helps me stay motivated for when I wanted to sleep and like, you know, when I got sleepy and stuff. This has just been the best time, especially because we streamed as well and did our Twitch stream, Fortnite, yes, yes. By the way, when I was doing my YouTube stream this morning, I saw that the dust jacket is actually still being sold. So I'll try to leave it linked in my description. Hopefully it's still being sold by the time you see this video, because I know a lot of people will want this because so stunning. I am very exhausted. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will leave Kevin Caitlin and Jamie's videos linked in my description too. Literally can't wait to watch their videos. Um, if you're looking for more content from me, I have a Patreon, which is always linked below, and that is where I upload extra content, like extra reading vlogs, live shows, we do a monthly buddy read, etc. I have my other channel as journal with Chloe and ASMR with Chloe, and I have my Instagram and Twitter, which is just at books with Chloe. Hope you're all having a good day or night, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>